Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Shona. I am a yoga teacher, personal trainer, and ex-gymnast. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through a 10 minute ab workout, slightly longer than 10 minutes by like 25 seconds. So not a really big deal. Now this is an intermediate to advanced level workout. It is going to challenge you, but what I urge you to do is if you're finding it too tricky midway through, head over to this video, this video, <laughs> somewhere linked below, and you're gonna do the beginner variation for a few weeks until you can work your way up to do this particular workout. All you're gonna need is a mat and your body, and we're gonna get straight on with it right now. We've got 18 exercises to get through, 30 seconds on, five seconds off, let's do this. Okay, plank pose. So go ahead and squeeze your glutes, tuck your tailbone and spread your shoulder blades apart by driving your elbows into the floor. Try to draw your ribs in back towards your spine and keep everything very stable. Don't let your hips pop up too high or drop too low. Number two, cross body mountain climber. Okay, push the floor away, tuck your tailbone and bring your knee to your elbow, really feeling as though you're squeezing your abs as you do each one. Number three, alternating tabletop. Okay, don't rush this. Be stable before you're fast and turn the fingers out if you have mobility issues. Four, hollow body hold, ribs down, belly button sucking in, don't let it pop out. Tuck your tailbone and tuck your chin in towards your chest. If you feel your neck working, that's a good thing. If you feel pain, maybe back off a little. Number five, hip lifts. Hold onto something secure, either the bottom of a couch, you can see I'm doing it with the wall here. Draw the pelvis towards the ribs. Keep the legs active, so not passive, otherwise they'll just be dead weights. Number six, hip twists. Keep your legs very active, even point your toes. Think pelvis drawing to the rib cage to start the movement on each rep. Number seven, supermans. Okay, avoid looking forward, squeeze your glutes and tuck your tailbone. Number eight, 
Think armpits to feet rather than hands to feet. Trust me, try and do it now. Armpits towards your feet. That's gonna work your abs way more. Straddle up. If your hamstrings are tight, go ahead and bend your knees, point your toes and keep the legs active. Same thing, we wanna feel as though armpits are working towards the knees. side hip lift. All right, press all fingers into keep the wrists safe. Move as high as you can on each rep. Number 11, side hip lift. Don't let yourself collapse through the shoulders. As you get tired, your shoulder blade's gonna start to slip towards the middle of your spine. We wanna really push away from the floor like we do in other positions. Number 12, gymnastics crunches. This looks easy, but when you're doing it properly, it's difficult. So keep your legs straight, body firm, pull your ribs down towards the floor on each rep. Cobras. Okay guys, this isn't just pushing your hands into the floor. It's actually activating and using your back and glutes to get your body off the floor on each rep. So make sure you're squeezing the shoulder blades down and back. alternating yoga side plank. Do not let the hips get saggy on this one. Keep them high on each rep and the same rules of plank applies. Belly draws in on each movement. Keep the tailbone tucked. Number 15, oblique crunch heel taps. Keep your shoulder blades off the floor, keep the ribs down and really draw the belly in flat as you move from side to side. Do, do. 
16 tabletop crunches. Watch that your knees stay above your hips. Don't let them come towards your head. Your hips are gonna try and flex more to make it easier. Trust me, they will try. Keep those knees right above your hips. Seventeen bicycle slow. All right, same rules of the hollow body apply. Think armpits towards knees as opposed to just knees coming towards your elbows. Really try to twist here. Number 18, bicycle fast. Don't increase the speed if you can't maintain good form. So give yourself a chance to really get good at the slow bicycle before progressing to fast bicycles. How was that? Was it tough? I found it tough. I really struggled. Let me know how you went in the comments below and don't forget to do a cool down stretch. I got one right here for you. Head over, chill yourself out, stretch out your abs, stretch out your entire body and you're gonna feel so much better than just kind of getting up off the mat and finishing the workout. Always good to cool down and put yourself into a nice calm focused state. This is gonna boost recovery and just improve your overall health. Also, for those of you that found that a little too easy, I'd make sure, well, first I'd make sure that you were performing everything really correctly, but also head over to some of my more advanced workouts on this channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the mat shortly.